My name is Ramsony. Welcome back to Elden Ring. We are here in the giant conquering hero's grave. Definitely not the catacomb that was being pointed to. So we know what we're doing after this. Yeah, I'm just not going to let you attack. A lot comfier for me. The run down this way has not really proven to be specifically fruitful. I mean, they're both revealed for hitting now. I don't need to avoid fighting them yet. Fine, I'll heal back up and finish him off, I think. Oh, boy. I'm actually going to have to work on this one. All right, fine. Kind of wanted one of this to fall, but... I'll settle for none of them, I guess. Got one down. The other one in the distance has leashed. Sorry, bud. Yeah, I don't need to go back for that. <sighs> Unfortunately, both of the Air Tree Burial Watchdogs are going to be back, but we'll be okay. Uh, Blood Flame's not really going to increase my damage against them at all. I wonder if Holy Wood. Probably not Frost. Lightning might. I probably do have the ability to craft a decent amount of Volga Bloom. Yeah. Let's get some Lightning Grease. I think that could be a, a <laughs> an illusory passage on basically any of the walls that we just passed, unfortunately. Uh, I'm going to go Lightning Grease into Flask of Wondrous Physic and then jump off. I mean, it is looking in the other direction. I actually don't have to fight that. Makes me feel a little bad about the pre-buff, but... Can't feel too bad when we're still on our way. Towards the actual enemies. Nice. Go. I knew three jumping attacks was going to be enough to get the knock. Honestly, considering how long it takes this one to actually get to us, I probably should have aggroed it early. Again. Again. There we go. Knocked and crit. Yeah, it doesn't seem like the lightning really helped much at all, does it? Glove whips. 
Eight. Ah, yes, and there is an alcove here. Who's waiting for this? I knew there had to be a reason to kill that one, not just the globlet behind it. This climb is taking a while. I don't think I left anything in the uh, in the in the passage we just left. Hmm. So this is the upper area of this. So we have to assume that there is some way on that central object, that central circle, for me to cast light. And we've seen... That sound... Hmm. Just made a weird noise when I hit it. We've seen mostly statues casting the light onto those from a distance. This is a staircase that I can only go one way. I mean, yeah, maybe it's a reason to get you to do a little bit of exploring. But even in that instance, it feels very minor. Like it's a giant side passage for very little. Can I, like, send this up? Oh yeah, I totally can. This is the object we have to send up. You can see that it's disconnected from the floor. I get it now. It's the... <laughs> this, is a, this is a neat puzzle. I like this one. Uh, a while ago, I used the lift to get down here. I need to send that lift back up. And they were kind of hinting towards that as a solution. Oh my god, I'm not going to be able to do it from here, am I? And that goes out to the other one. Oh, I have to send it back up while I'm there, I guess. I guess this, this will get me back up to the dungeon itself. So I can, I can still use this. Let's tie it all together. In order to get past this area and explore this area, I needed to have that light available to me, which by default was available because I sent the lift down. Earlier in this dungeon, they were giving you an example of, oh, you have to reset something earlier in the dungeon in order to show you the path forward with the light. Perfect. We glommed onto that quite quickly. In fact, before they even presented that puzzle to us. So we were ready for it here. I just love the design of these dungeons. Like mini portal chambers each. Okay. Now here's also probably going to be an interesting part. Uh, going down with that still set up. There might be another alcove with an item in it at the very bottom that we're keen for. However, we'll do that in just a moment after killing you. Come on, giant. You ready, buddy? No, 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 no. Don't worry about the name of my web. No, no, no. Uh... <laughs> Sorry, it just used to belong to a guy named Giant Crusher. So, yeah, sorry. It's. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> get him! Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to hit that crit spot. Well done. You stepped on me from midair. I was really hopeful that wasn't gonna work. Nice. 
Somewhere, a heavy door is open. It's directly behind the giant, but we will try one final thing. It's also relatively easy to get back up here. Although there are the prelates at the bottom, annoyingly. I say prelates, plural. When what I mean is prelate, singular. On and what? Maybe on the other side. Let there be sadness. I'm ready for the boss, I think. What's our resources like? Four and three. Uh, uh yeah. I mean. If they're staggerable, I'm probably ready for them. If they're not, I'm probably not. If they're unique and I've never seen their moveset before, probably not ready for them. Only one way to find out, though. I do like the idea of a boss peering out through their fog just to see this running in the distance, becoming slightly larger, a little bit larger on the horizon, a little bit larger. Oh, getting getting a bit closer now. I can kind of start making out the symbols. Oh, it looks like he's holding him dead. <laughs> Ancient hero of Zavor. Now, I have practiced a little against the ancient heroes, a couple of, uh, oh boy, uh, a couple episodes ago. So I'll admit I feel reasonably comfortable. But that's... Uh, you know what? I'm not going to let that let me get cocky. I'm still going to make sure enemy fell. <laughs> Small curved sword, mask, armor, bracelets, and leg wraps. Let's have a look at those. Where is uh, Zamor weaponry? Zamor curved sword. Curved great sword. Uh, weapon wielded by the Knights of Zamor, who earned great renown during the war against the Giants in apparent devotion to winter. The curved blade is styled after an icy wind and imbued with a powerful frost effect. Zamor Ice Storm plunges the curved sword into the ground, building power before unleashing a freezing storm that batters the surroundings. It does not have any frozen... Oh, sorry. It doesn't have any frozen damage because frozen is not a type of damage. It does cause, however, a large amount of frost buildup. Then, in addition, there was... Mask worn by the Knights of Zamor, hailed as heroes in the war against the Giants, these long-lived warriors, clad in biting freezing winds, are said to have been the mortal enemies of the Fire Giants since time immemorial. Hmm. Same information given on the uh, rest of the armor set. On the entire rest of the armor set, yep. I believe that ooh, that ended up just under this but it's still not the one we're looking for uh i believe that will clear out our our catacomb catacomb a uh, hero grave <sighs> where is the catacomb entrance though It seemed too perfect, almost, that it would be pointing directly to the crux between these two. It almost seems like it would be now here. Let's... 
let's go as close as possible to where I think it would be. Because it could be a land down and then forward. It could be on the other side and then backwards. It could be some thing else, I think, as well. Oh, there you are. Actually... Hear me out. What if this hand is here specifically to try and get people to leave this area alone? And the right thing to do would be to find the way to drop there. No, because I can access this from the other side around. But it also still does look like... This is the underpass that takes us around to there. So I really don't understand how the catacomb could exist in that area without me having gone past it many times. Now, I'm not willing to say that I haven't just randomly gone past it many times and missed it every time, because I don't want to lie. That could easily have happened. <laughs> Nevertheless, too conscious of my defects to say that's not possible. But this is looking more promising than anything else so far. Is all promise snuffed? Like flames of the fell god? It seems so, so far. I mean, this isn't even along the path. Oh, that does look like a giant itself. Actually, in fact, a lot of these look like giants because they are. <laughs> Belay that realization. <laughs> I didn't realize everyone else knew. I kind of want to kill this guy, to be honest. I'm not entirely certain why, but do I need to know? <laughs> oh, it'd be funny if he actually did entirely fall off at that point. I don't think I could even make them fall off with something like that though. I think unless you are the force that makes it occur, enemies will not fall off of a side like that. We saw earlier with the fire monks not wanting to chase me to their oblivion. Which is fair, but it does mean giant enemies are never going to go over the side. Because I can't really send those flying. I do not have the, the the ringed finger on me. I mean, I'm still happy to be exploring. It's just I should not expect to see the catacomb where I am currently trying to. Further and further, I'm not expecting to be able to find the catacomb where I was looking. I'm going to return to the foot of the forge and just go to the church that's on the other side of it right now. I was facing it immediately at the start. But I had to take a couple of lefts just to get my bearings. <gasps> we get invaded. Who dares? Invaded by Bloody Finger Okina. Hey, buddy. I'm a 
have been surprised that you haven't staggered yet off the back those. Guard counter worked pretty effectively there. Rivers of Blood in the Arcana Mask. Rivers of Blood. We did summon you in the Radan fight as well, and I think I have an item that references you, Arcana. Weapon of Arcana, Swordsman of the Land of Reeds, a cursed weapon that has failed countless men. When Moog, the Lord of Blood, first felt Arcana's sword and madness upon his flesh, he had a proposal to offer Arcana the life of a demon whose thirsts would never go unsated. Unique skill, Corpse Piler. Forms a blade of cursed blood for repeated interwaving successful at sorry, successive, not necessarily successful attacks. Uh, follow up with additional input for further successive attacks. It seems good, but again, it doesn't seem us. A wooden mask. Ooh, interesting. A wooden mask that depicts an old man bearing his teeth. The source of the sobriquet. I don't know how to pronounce that. Sobriquet, I'm assuming. Sobrik of the great swordsman of the land of reeds raises dexterity as it lowers focus the more he sharpened his mind the more the absurdities of the world came into stark relief and so Okina renounced it all and rose to a higher plane there was only himself his katana and its mastery before long Okina became a demon of a swordsman I imagine uh, to many an arcane player, Ochna is much more important than they necessarily are to me. Church of Repose. And another sacred tier. I have been waiting for these. Oh, something there? Nope. I will say I missed chatting with Melina. Melina was a good tool for giving the player a lot of lore about the world, which I liked having. And if I had known that Melina would never speak to me again after I was embraced by those fiery, fiery fingers, I mightn't have done it. I'll eventually have to do it in a playthrough, no doubt. But I mightn't have done it in the one where I was trying to make the most sense of the world. Melina speaks... Uh, to my experience at least most plainly about those things kind of ties them together for you a little bit too ash of war trolls roar up here on the very top of the troll the ash of war is trolls roar Look into the distance and let out an intense roar, generating a powerful shockwave that blows back surrounding foes. Follow up with a strong attack to slam the armament down. Usable on large and colossal swords, axes, and hammers. Neat. Not sure we'll end up using it, but neat. That was also on a guilty body, wearing the guilty robes of the Ochre Capital. I mean, the only way down from here is back onto the Spirit Spring, as far as I'm aware. In terms of uh, not definitely dying. Unfortunately, it's a death plane immediately off the side of the map after that. Otherwise, that would be a very useful way to mitigate all of the fall damage of uh, descending the entire mountain. Now, this could easily just be my mistake, but I don't tend to think that closely inspecting each of these on the horizon is what the game wants me to do right now. I mean, where'd it go? Oh, it's there. Uh, gosh, how am I going to get close enough and end that? It feels like the only way I can really try and fight that thing is with the cannon. I don't even know if my cannon would fire that far. I can't use the cannon without more decks. That's fine. I'll just put the seal back on while I'm using the cannon here. Let's 
somber smithing eight i mean look it's not awful it's just also not useful um, sort these back over very very quickly uh i can put it in the forge and then i can go around it up it's already where i have so i'm looking further over to the left and further up i guess just to make sure that I've covered enough of this terrain to be quite confident there's no dungeon or anything like that that I'd like to get myself all involved in. Mentally, it, you know, what I've been leading myself effectively through over the course of the last five minutes is preparing myself mentally to say, I don't think there is much at all here. I think it's time to just leave. Just assuming that this is done. give myself a little bit more wandering time first who's okay that's the one in the distance throwing the magic pots I mean I should probably kill the one throwing a unique object uh, projectile Ah. Is it unique? There appears to be one up here doing the same. Get him. Oh my god. If the damage one of them just did hit the other one with the pot, that would have been incredible. Time to do it. Okay. One, one could be a coincidence. Two, two, they're guarding something. One of them, I could have left to just finish out their shift. Shift, rather. Two of them. I'm gonna have to take your badges. And a order. Might be able to ride along the right side, though. Slightly very our ascent. I can even see my runes off in the distance, so. I know you're getting up. Let's just. While it's just you and I here, let's make the future a lot easier. These are individually relatively easy for us to handle. It's just as soon as there's more than one of them at a time. That said, with Blood Flame Blade and opening, doing basically the same thing we were, maybe even the Flask of Wondrous Physic, that one should go down really, really quickly. If it's about pace, we'll keep it up as much as we can. Blood Flame, Flask of Physic, Pickled Turtleneck, 
two hand and charge attack for the foot. Charge attack for the foot. I am amazed that hit on as late a frame as it did. You're in cahoots with the magic thrower on the other side, I know it. Yep. Basically, as soon as I take a single hit, I know that I'm not going to be able to survive anymore. Fine. So, is that actually fire they're throwing at me? Or is it, like, it, if I negated fire damage, would that negate that? Or would I be negating magical damage in order to negate that? Is it a blue kind of fire? Or is it magical fire? I've decided to completely invert the standing strategy. giving me the time to get into position for the roll. Uh, I'll take a heal rather than definitely die to the next attack. See, I thought I had a huge amount of poise damage on the enemy. So for basically the last four hits against them, I was certain they were going down. <laughs> For something I was certain was not going to be a problem. This is uh, turning out to be a bit of a problem. They did damage. That means you should be going after them now, right? And thump. There we go. I just need one knock. It shouldn't really be that hard to get. I have a giant crusher. That's literally what it's for. Drink the plastic versus physic. I guess I'm going with lightning grease. I mean, lightning did seem to be a good effect here. Had a good increase of damage. But that also could have been from, I guess, the rest of the boss. I got a sacred tier recently. You know, the one I didn't use. It's coming in real handy here. Or it would if I used it. But good thing I got it though. <laughs> Imagine life without it. It almost looked like this. I'm fighting in this extremely unoptimal position. Because I think I can try and get 
safety from... There we go. Safety from the other side here. Keep an appropriate distance. There we go. While taking out this target. Now, having done that, let's take the quick perimeter. I guess we already kind of did the other way around. There's a kind of little uh, alcove, I guess, beneath each of these giants. Oh no. I wonder if each of them kind of, as the cataclysm came, was slumping over a group attempting to protect them. Don't make me feel bad for him, game. I guess I've still got to kill the rest. I'm gonna make it difficult to motivate myself to do that when they're all, you know, sympathetic. not designed for this kind of complexity. My weapon is named Giant Crusher. I have no brain. It's canonical. All right, buddy. Yump and thump. There we go. Get the giant early stagger. Pull up with more poise damage. Oh my god, this works so much better when you haven't got someone in the distance undermining you the whole time. I wish they stuck around with ragdoll physics just so I could watch that roll. More arterial leaf. Decent reward, I guess, for climbing this high. Very much not on the path of what would possibly be a catacomb anymore. But maybe if we're lucky. Just a little bit of a dungeon, maybe? Oh boy. Okay, I'm not supposed to be here. I shouldn't be alive. I should leave. <laughs> uh, it's just the truth of the matter on that one. Uh, God. This perplexes me. Because this leans down to here. Let's go to the giant's great post and see if there is another way for me to drop down. I didn't think there was. I thought we walked past this. Realizing that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because that's it. Hmm. Then where is this indicating a catacomb could exist? I think we should go back to the Zomor ruins and continue checking for it. A large amount of the reason that I care so much about the idea of a catacomb right now is... I mean, I can't see any mines on the map, but a catacomb seems like it would be the most guaranteed way for me to get upgrade materials whether that is the bell uh the bell bearing that gives me the ability to purchase sevens and eights or just sevens outright i'd prefer the bell bearing obviously but you know if they give me four sevens i'll shut up about it for a little bit of time obviously because i am going to need 12 more sevens after the fact so that i can upgrade the claw marks here but look we can focus on that when that is relevant at the time you know we don't have to focus on it yet So this is all where you think the catacomb is. Let's 
So that was the overpass for getting to the cat uh, for getting around there. Is there an underpass? I mean, I think there was. Literally, there isn't. I thought there was an underpass the whole time and I was going under it the entire time. So I had already completely agreed there could not be a catacomb in a position where I am currently standing and a catacomb is as well. Hey, that be sigh. Quivering. I don't have one to give away now, do I? Not yet. The stuff we've been getting from Grunk has been better and better. Game, please don't dare animate any of these statues at any point. You know how rude that would be? Appropriately rude for a soft title. So do it. But, like, don't do it. But, like, do it, though. Brave Glove with seven. I am so close to killing. Well, I mean, I guess the jump attack does it, so we'll just rely on that. Wait, the, the flask no longer does the effects that I thought it had. It's not got the little bit of healing as well as the Ompelin bubble tier with the prevention of damage on the next instance. So part of the tile set seems to be that one of these just has to be here. Even if it's not utilized. Fine by me, now that I know. There's also some stuff way, 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 way under there. Oh. Oh, that's interesting. Brings up its own... Own, uh, whole own pagoda to go down that way. Let's pretend we don't know that's here to start off with. I was wondering if that was going to work. I specifically made sure that I was in a back frame, uh, backstab animation against the first golem so that neither of the other two would deal any damage. Bait him out. Guess they wanted to make it clear they weren't doing the same thing to you again. Is that? Is that Warrior Pod Alexander? Why well, can't target them? Although, when pots aren't yet aggressive, you can't target them at all, so it's possible that that's just what's happening here. I'm going to give every pot the ability to be as unaggressive towards me as it would like. If they try and fight me, I will slap them immediately back down, but up until such a time... I will give them... The benefit of the doubt. That has a trap. Just firing out of that wall at us. Ah, I see, right. 
So our movement entirely dictated by the explosive pots. May end up harming us. Or putting us onto one of the tracks. Me. Love the design of that old trap. Not looking for a potentate anymore? Admittedly, I'm quite surprised that there is just a completely empty room like this. Oh, are we in another Duke dungeon situation? It's an empty room in this version of the dungeon, but it's not an empty room in the next version of the same dungeon. Something like that. Great poise damage and all, and this is working so far, but I can do this faster. There we go. If you poison them, somehow, they become too filled with poison and die. I'm not gonna argue. Makes it be incredibly easy once you know the trick. Not all enemies in this game can have a, you know, a, just this one silly trick, Dr. Tatum kind of solution. That would make probably the entire game feel pretty trivial at some point. But I like that there are some of them and I kind of wish there were a couple more. You ready? Okay, I see an aggressive action. I commit aggressive action. Wouldn't Josh Allen want me dumpling a ritual pot? I mean, man, there's a lot of the dungeon that we've explored and we already know that half of it is in a completely different area. Make some butterfly. Looks like this is about where the rug gets pulled out from under us of, hey, you've done it all, but you still haven't discovered the secret. That's because it's further up. Wait a second. Why were there explosives? Wait a second. Seriously, why are there explosives here now? There weren't explosives here previously. You know what this means. At least in my mind right now, what this means is we were right. They duped us. They, they turned me all around, got me all twisted up and silly and tipsy and dizzy. And then they dropped me into a different dungeon. Yep, all those explosives are there again. Because of course they are. They haven't died yet. Part of the reason I was a little more suspicious than I otherwise might be as well, I think, not that I clocked this mentally myself at the time, but I think part of the reason that I might have been a little bit more suspicious is here, 
is because the last time we also had a duping dungeon, it also had dead ends with pots in. So on some level, I've been taught to expect that. All right, I gave you a second. Alexander is going to be livid when he hears about this. And I don't mean that I killed one of his kind. He's going to be livid when I hear, when, when I hear, when I tell him that one of you raised arms against me. Alexander and I go back way back when. from our castle red main days, you see. I think part of the reason these enemies are here as well is... Ah, yes. To lull you into a false sense of security of being able to run through this area. And then if you do that, you're also less likely to notice that these are enemies you killed. This is not the same dungeon. There we go. I was waiting for that for the last like 10 hits, negative two hits before I started hitting the enemy. So we are now in what I will call Dungeon B. Hey, buddy. I'm not hitting you yet. The dungeon is. Take this up with the architects. This is not on me. more HP. I think I will use a raw meat dumpling as well as a quick neutralizing boss to get rid of it. So this would be dropping, uh, that would be dropping me into yet a third dungeon. So what I need to do still is backtrack in this, the second dungeon. Wait, and all of this all of this before we even go down to the extra dungeon that we know exists. Huh. Neat. I wonder if it's one of those situations where there's actually two bosses in this dungeon. We can discover one of them by doing this big puzzle and then the other one is just secretly hidden off in the corner. Which would probably mean the main one Uh, the main... Actually, is there even a second way out of here? There is. Wait, no, that's how I can. Wait a second. No. Yeah, there's another... There's a fall under this one. This one didn't have a fall under it on the other one because obviously it's different. So this is the elevator B. We'll call that... Uh, actually, we'll call that lift B. Because it's open. You can see the mechanism. We'll call the other one the elevator. Resin and Grave Glovewit. Gonna knock you down, take you out. Watchdog's Greatsword. Neat. 
that's it for that part of the area, though. Ah. I didn't think there was a possibility, even. <laughs> uh, great watchdogs. Great watchdogs. Watchdog greatsword, rather. Stone greatsword wielded by the entry burial watchdogs, though, dec uh, though decorated with the watchman's eye. The bugle was taken by grave robbers and now hollow, leaving the sword a mere clump of stone. Also sword. Neat stats. Still not something we can really afford to use. In that it is not anywhere near as cool as this. I've seen its attack pattern. I've seen its attack pattern wielded against me. I am so sorry. You can cast? So that would be... That's not even into dungeon number one. Dungeon number one is... Wait. No, 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 no. That's the... That's the one that I tried to leave alive. Because they were non-aggressive at that point still. Yes. We fought in that arena. And there's nothing else that we need to get in different areas up here, I don't imagine. Uh, I could drop back down, but no real reason to do that right now. Wait, no, I have to drop back down, no matter what I do. We need to go back to dungeon number one. I mean, what I should really, really do is go back up again here. There's nothing down there. Wait, no. I was gonna basically end my progression on this path in order to start progression on... Oh my god, it's 57 minutes. Ah. It's fine. Long episode, it's fine. Um, I was gonna stop progression on this path and then start the progression on the other path as well, but we've just almost, assumedly, finished this one. So, we're leaving Dungeon A. I'm going to consider this the transition point to be the drop. The very, very narrow drop. Ah, right, it's on our right hand when we're leaving. So there's the narrow drop, that's number one. And there's no exit up here on the heights. We're being punked into thinking this is the same room again. That would be the descent, we don't do that. We want the other exit. off to the left in this corridor. Uh, next corridor. Forgot about these. Drops down halfway on that way, and then half on this way. Oh, interesting. Is this a third dungeon? That item there has been collected on that character, but we can't use that as any confirmation, unfortunately. Because that's exactly what they would want to do. No enemies here. The lift is in the wrong place. And falls down to... This area, yeah, I think we've done this one correctly. Okay. 
So yeah, there wasn't anything new finally to get, I don't believe. However, better to know that for certain. It would be extremely cruel of them to make one of those into a important unmissable path. But I'd better just make sure while I'm going past, just in case, you know. Uh, and then this one will take me down. Yep, that's a stake America, so there's gonna be a second... Wait, is this a second full dungeon? I figured it was just gonna go immediately out into being a boss. Oh, there's an Erntree Watchdog on the other side as well. You know... I think I should actually do the right thing here given that we are now at one hour and I am looking down the barrel of fighting two bosses and possibly a whole nother dungeon. I should probably at this point send you back down again and then go back up again ourselves. In fact, we are just going to be walking back to the campfire. So let me say at this point, my name is Imbrantzani, the name of the game has been Elden Ring series playlist up in the top left. YouTube recommendation down below. Stream past the names of people so generously supporting Republic on Patreon.com slash Rhapsody Plays. I will thank you and a special thanks this episode to Eloise. Hopefully you all have been enjoying yourselves and hopefully we'll see you all next time.